I'm here with Dr. Wolfgang Weyers, who is a consultant dermatopathologist practicing in Freiburg in Germany. Thank you very much for joining us well, after what was a terrific lecture, actually, and, and as highlighting some really interesting problems in the field of dermatopathology, particularly with our trend now with widespread screening programs where picking up lesions which we as dermatologists may feel a very early malignant melanomas, for example, and excising way more things than we used to. And this is providing you a few problems, I think. Well, there are several problems connected with it. One is that in very early lesions, not in early ones, in very early mm. lesions, often lesions have not yet acquired signs also not only clinical but also histopathologically so right. that makes them diagnosable so if you postpone it a little bit it makes diagnosis much more accurate this is not true for all lesions i mean if there are clear cut criteria sure. for malignancy you can get them out earlier but in many uh, um, ways, it's, it's better, I think, this is what I think, mm. to wait a little bit until, for example, a lesion has acquired a diameter of five or six millimeters and to do the biopsy then. And then, rarer biopsies, but take a biopsy in total in order to enable the histopathologist to really assess all criteria that are there because if this is not done, there is a real risk of overdiagnosis, of misdiagnosis. Right, so that's a really important learning message for us as clinicians, is to wait, if possible, till the lesion's a little larger than, you know, giving you a two millimeter lesion is going to cause all sorts of problems for you. Well, the problem um, is, in very little lesions, usually the um, degree of clinical suspicion is low, and then also the biopsies mm. that are being taken are of poor quality. Even in the two millimeter lesions, which are so small, yes. they are not excised in total. And then diagnosis becomes a guessing game. Absolutely. You also highlighted a couple of other things which I thought was interesting. One of them is if a lesion is irritated clinically, then it's sort of irritated pathologically as well. Yes. And that makes your life difficult. Oh, not only in melanocytic lesions, but also and especially in keratocytic lesions mm. and epithelial lesions and I think and I have no uh, way to prove it that every day worldwide because of irritation and small biopsies being taken hundreds or thousands of irritated wards are given as squamous cell carcinomas. Which is a really important problem in, in practical terms. Yeah. The other things which you touched upon which I thought was helpful was just reminding us always to excise the lesion in full and not to take a punch biopsy or a shave and the problems here. Now this is especially important in melanocytic neoplasms. Mm. You know epithelial neoplasms because epithelial cells are connected to one another yeah, by uh, tonofilaments mm. and mm -hmm. desmosomes. Yeah, they stick together but melanocytic neoplasms and melanocytes, they spread. And for the diagnosis of melanocytic neoplasms, the architecture is very important. If um, neoplastic cells are poorly arranged, irregularly mm -hmm. distributed, and in partial biopsies, those criteria cannot be assessed. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you so much for highlighting these, these really important clinico-pathological correlations, if you like, and giving us some guidance about best practice. Thank you. Thank you very much.